over to you uh, for your presentation. You have 10 minutes and uh, we will give you some, uh, some tips online in case you are getting a bit too long. Okay, thank you very much, over to you. All right, uh, so I'm uh, Sebastian Yena, and uh, the incident manager for cholera in Nigeria. I work with the Nigerian Center for Disease Control. Next. Uh, so I'm showcasing the uh, 2022 and 2023 uh, cholera situation in Nigeria. And uh, you can see from the uh, chart, uh, the, the epic curve on the left, uh, as at week 52, 2022, and Nigeria was able to have a total of 23,763 cases reported from uh, 271 local governments and 33 states were affected. Now, from that uh, epic curve, uh, which is on my left, uh, actually, we had an all year round uh, uh, outbreaks of cholera, which peak uh, uh, around uh, week 38. Now, uh, comparatively with uh, uh, 2023 outbreak, uh, is the same uh, outbreak which actually started in Cross River and Taraba State that continues into 2023. Uh, and you can see now uh, we were able to have the peak for 2023 in week six. Now, this uh, continues like that until we have noticed a decline. So, we have been able to actually experience a dry season cholera situation uh, from the from the middle of uh, uh, from the end of uh, 2022 on to 2023. Now this uh, table that you are seeing here now is showing us the states and local government that were affected. Now these are states that actually are not our traditional uh, cholera hotspot states. We are seeing more cases of cholera now in the southern part of uh, Nigeria, precisely in Cross River, which was actually the most affected and is still affected 2022-2023. Uh, uh, going into the rainy season now, we expect more cases of cholera. Uh, so here from this table, uh, more of the Southern states are having cholera, which is a shift from the traditional Northern states that are prone to cholera in Nigeria. Next slide. Next. Now, uh, no, this, okay. We have been able to uh, establish an, a technical working group for cholera as far back as 2017. Here in Nigeria, we have we don't have a national tax force for cholera. We only have a national tax group for sanitation. But for cholera, is a technical working group uh, here at the NCDC, where the health and watch colleagues uh, actually multisectorally uh, supports the uh, coordination effort of cholera control in Nigeria. Uh, we also were able to continue uh, on the development of a national cholera plan, a national strategic uh, plan of action for cholera control in Nigeria. We started as far back as 2018, but with a new uh, GTFCC guideline, the country support platform has been here since 2021, supporting the ongoing effort to develop a national cholera plan in Nigeria. Other activities we have been doing is actually to have a national guideline for cholera control uh, diagnosis, uh, also, uh, case management of cholera. Surveillance actually from the traditional integrated, integrated disease surveillance and response uh, system that has been in place since uh, uh, 2001, SCDC here in Nigeria has been able to also uh, strengthen the capacity for surveillance by introducing what we call surveillance outbreak response management and analysis system, SOMAS. This is an app where a uh, real-time reporting of uh, uh, infectious diseases, including cholera, are done at the sub national level, which is the local government level. In Nigeria, we have 774 local governments. So there are surveillance officers who are trained to actually uh, use this application to support real time reporting of uh, cholera. A network of laboratories also at the sub national level are uh, uh, supervised and strengthened by the National Reference Lab here in Abuja. So we have 23 uh, network of laboratories that uh, support uh, diagnosis of cholera uh, in Nigeria. Also, we are able to uh, uh, strengthen coordination, especially during outbreak response, by the establishment of a public health emergency operation centers. So all the 36 states and the federal capital territory have a, a, a public health emergency operation center, which uh, supports a coordination of response, especially uh, during outbreaks. These are supported by uh, NCDC 
and we presently are continuously uh, building capacity around uh, public health EOC uh, management. We were able to also develop our risk mapping. Uh, we first developed this risk map in June 2021 and uh, subsequently reviewed. So the current uh, risk map we are using now is at uh, September 2021, where presently we have 22 states that are hotspots for cholera with 126 uh, local government here in Nigeria. Nigeria is also not new to OCV. We started experimenting with OCV as far back as 2017. And the last one we had was actually in Kano State, where three local government were prioritized. We are also making effort to make sure that we have open defecation free local government in Nigeria. This is the declaration made by the former president, uh, Muhammad Buhari, uh, for an open defecation free uh, Nigeria by 2025. And uh, recall in the last uh, World Health Assembly, we committed to actually scaling up our leadership and coordination role in Nigeria to the Office of the Vice President. So the NCP is developed towards uh, having this uh, highest level of uh, commitment in Nigeria. Next slide. Well, our achievements actually, like I said, is successfully uh, validating our uh, national cholera plan, which we hope to launch any moment from now. Uh, to so, so that it will now guide us in implementing a cholera control effort in Nigeria. Uh, also, the development of uh, guidelines uh, for cholera diagnosis and also for case management, which is supported by the country support platform, uh, WHO and uh, MSF here in Nigeria. Response commodities uh, prioritization is actually a, a key component of what we do. So earlier in the year, we were able to quantify, focus and quantify uh, response commodities that will be deployed to the states and local government uh, this year in order to actually mitigate uh, issues related to cholera. This is a readiness and preparedness effort that we have been done, uh, we have been able to do this year, uh, supported uh, by WHO. So this document is available and we are already procuring and um, pre-positioning uh, response commodities, including uh, laboratory support uh, uh, reagents for the states. Uh, especially the uh, cholera hotspot states in Nigeria. Uh, just like I said earlier also, uh, we continue to interface with the Global Tax Force for Cholera Control to see that uh, OCV is available uh, for uh, preventive campaigns, including uh, reactive, because most of the campaigns we have done actually in the past is reactive because uh, as we plan to do preventive campaigns, uh, outbreaks occur uh, and we end up doing more of a reactive campaigns because the issue is availability of uh, supplies from the global level. Uh, Nigeria also presently, uh, we have also been able to develop a guideline for uh, wash in health facilities. So we have a three tier structures in Nigeria. Uh, we have a, a health facilities at the tertiary level controlled by the federal government. Then the state government also have general hospitals, specialist uh, hospitals. Then the local government have a primary health care center. So these are areas that we use to do our own intervention, especially during outbreaks, uh, where CTCs and CTUs are actually designated and uh, strengthened to make sure that uh, case management is enhanced in Nigeria. So presently, uh, 102 local governments have been certified to be ODF in Nigeria. That is open defecation free. Next slide. Next. Well, th there are some very crucial priorities that we have uh, going forward uh, uh, in the next uh, one year, which is actually to launch the National Cholera Plan. Uh, this is a, a document that uh, we started developing, like I said, uh, with the support of the country support platform uh, since 2021. So we hope to launch this document with high level advocacy to get it uh, accepted in the 36 states and the federal government territory to guide cholera control in Nigeria. Print the necessary documents that we are already developing, which we also hope to finalize uh, the treatment guideline, the diagnostic guideline, get them across to the subnational level uh, where actually the issues of cholera are manifesting. We want to increase our OCV campaigns. Uh, as long as there's availability of uh, OCV, we have already phase plans for campaigns in Nigeria, uh, 2018, 2022, and in the current uh, 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 National Cholera Plan, we are also prioritizing another five year, 2023 to 2027, 
for OCV campaigns. So as long as uh, there are uh, no challenges with outbreaks, we hope to do more preventive campaigns, uh, unlike uh, what we used to do before. Also to establish uh, multi-sectoral emergency coordination uh, efforts in Nigeria, where, uh, like I already told you, we have uh, EOCs established in the state. So these EOCs are also expected to be uh, replicated in the local government. Uh, no matter how small we are, uh, the key stakeholders uh, meet to actually deliberate and uh, coordinate their effort towards uh, response, especially during outbreak. Trainings and retrainings are ongoing in NCDC. Uh, Search capacity is being built. Uh, last year, uh, we, we were privileged to be among the pioneer countries that uh, benefited from the search training by uh, WHO and partners. We also have our own level of uh, rapid response teams that have been trained and continuously been trained to make sure that within 24 hours, at most, uh, Mr. at most, Mr. Uh, Sebastian, hours. Sorry, if I'm gonna, because normally I, I, I stand up nicely next to the speaker so the person can understand that we are behind on time. So just flagging and sorry for interrupting you that if you could accelerate a little bit to give space for the others, thank you. Okay, so our priority now is to make sure that at least 80% of cholera hotspot states and local government have response commodities, have capacity built uh, for case management detection, and also for ongoing efforts towards coordination at that level. So next slides. Thank you. <laughs>